Hello everybody, and welcome back to another reading of The Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Historia. <clears throat> okay, so, um, here's what's happening today. We are going to begin where we left off, and we're going to be starting the era of the Hero of Time. And this is definitely the, one of the biggest eras in, this, in the timeline, so let's begin. <clears throat> Of all possible outcomes, Link, the hero of time, faced defeat at the hands of Ganondorf. The thief obtained the three pieces of the Triforce, transformed into the demon king, Ganon, and continued to threaten the world in future eras. The conflict surrounding the Triforce continued without end, and the blood of the gods weakened, and the kingdom of Hyrule shrank into a shadow of its former glory. Demon King of Chains is the complete Triforce. Now keep in mind, this is if Ganon defeats Link. This is the defeated timeline, which is a lot of people's most, uh, a lot of people, are, including myself, are most interested in this segment of the three split timelines after uh, Ocarina of Time. The hero's time, the hero of time's defeat. Ganondorf the Thief obtained the Triforce of Power and managed to get his hands on Princess Zelda. The hero of time, Link, challenged him in a battle that would determine Hyrule's very existence, and lost. The Seven Sages seal away the Demon King. At last, Ganondorf found himself in the possession of the Triforce of Wisdom that dwelt within Princess Zelda, and the Triforce of Courage that dwelt within Link. His true power achieved, he transformed into the Demon King. The Seven Sages of Hyrule, led by Princess Zelda, sealed Ganon and the Triforce in the Sacred Realm as a final resort. The Imprisoning Ward Rivals embroiled in a conflict surrounding the Sacred Realm For a brief time, it seemed as though peace had returned to the kingdom. However, there were many who knew of the existence of the Triforce and the entrance to the Sacred Realm because of the events set in motion by Ganondorf. Their lust aroused, they rushed to gain access to the Holy Land in their quest to obtain the power of the gods. Little did they realize the Sacred Realm had been transformed into the Dark World by Ganondorf's evil heart. None returned from their lands, instead only the power of darkness flowed forth. The Sacred Realm is sealed by the sages, but first, whoopsie, the Knights of Hyrule. The Knights of Hyrule are a clan that protect the royal family. Their members descended from the hero who governed the Crest of Courage. Legend has it that the hero will, appear, will one day reappear within their ranks. Looking back through the ages, it is, it is possible that Link, the hero of time, was once a Hylian knight himself. This may be the reason his mother became embroiled in the fires of war. The king of Hyrule ordered the seven sages to seal the sacred realm. The knights of Hyrule guarded the sages as they offered up their prayers, but demons descended upon them with, from within the sacred realm. And the fierce battle unfolded in the in which the majority of co of the combat combatants were killed. The entrance to the sacred realm was sealed once again, tight enough that it should never have been reopened. The seven sages sealed the sacred realm. Princess Zelda in her veins flows the blood of the goddess Hylia. The Hylian bloodline weakens. Until the era of the Hero of Time, the Kingdom of Hyrule was mostly inhabited by the Hylian people, whose existence was linked to their goddess, Hylia. Hylians possess a special power. It is said that their long ears allowed them to hear the voices of the gods. However, the kingdom fell into ruin during the imprisoning war, and the bloodline of the Hylians weakened within the, with, with the ages. Until their existence was not but a thing of the past, the sages' power w also waned, and Hyrule, once called the kingdom of the gods, became nothing more than an ancient legend. Now we're now in the Era of Light and Dark, A Link to the Past. The Princess of Light and the, the, the Knight's Descendants. Aghanim. A priest of darkness who plunges Hyrule into chaos. In truth, he is an offshoot of Ganon, sent forth from the Dark World. The, priest, the Priest's Plot. Though the power of the Triforce and the blood of the Hylians continued to wane, Hyrule remained at peace. That is, until the appearance of a man who sought to break the seal on the Sacred Realm which had been transformed to the Dark World. He was a priest who went by the name of Aghanim, and he wielded powerful magic. Aghanim sent uh, the king to an early grave, putting the soldiers of the kingdom under his spell. He kidnapped the, the maidens in whose veins flowed the blood of the seven sages. One by one, he sacrificed the girls, sending them into the Dark World, and was about to offer up Princess Zelda as well. Princess Zelda in prison. The death of the king of, the king of Hyrule. Aghanim the Priest. Okay, uh, okay. Princess Zelda. 
the princess of Hyrule and the one of the maidens whose veins uh, carry the blood of the sages. For generations, her line has possessed a mysterious power. Sahasrala. Let's go for that. An elder of Kakarika village, Sahasrala is a descendant of the seven sages. He is well versed in the legends of Hyrule and aids Link on his adventure. Rescuing Princess Zelda. Link rescued Princess Zelda from the dungeons and escaped to the sanctuary using the hidden passage. The loyal sage at the sanctuary agreed to shelter Princess Zelda, and, and Link left on a, a quest to seek the Master Sword that he would need to defeat Aghanim. Link paid a visit to the sage Sahasrala and obtained the Pendant of Courage. He then had to acquire the, two, the other two pendants of virtue in order to prove his worth as the hero, the one capable of wielding the Master Sword. Princess Zelda and Link make their escape. The Moon Pearl, a jewel that repels magic. It protects the, the bearer from the evil power of the Demon King who controls the Dark World and prevents any transformation to the bearer when they cross into the Dark World from the Light World. A Path to the Dark World Aghanim sent the seven maid maidens in whose uh, veins flowed the blood of the sages to the Dark World. They opened the passage to what had once been the Sacred Realm. Those who stepped on the magical warp tiles served as entrances would be to the lost dark world, would be lost to the dark world, transformed into demons. Link, who possessed the qualities of a hero, did not become a demon, but it was instead turned into an animal, in this case a pink bunny. He managed to obtain the moon pearl, which prevented him from being transformed while in the dark world, but the magic mirror which allowed him to return to the light world. Magic warp tile leading to the dark world. Link transformed into a bunny. Looks like they used the Game Boy Advance, uh versions here. The Magic Mirror, a clear, beautiful mirror that can be used as, as a means to return to the light world from the dark world. Remembering the Boy Who Played the Ocarina, translated as flute in the English version. Those Lost in the Dark World. During his travels, Link, the, link between the two worlds, ha, huh, uh, Link comes into contact with souls lost within the Dark World. There he bears witness to the tragic faith of those who had disappeared from the Light World. Blind, blind the thief who lived hiding in Kakarika Village now inhabits the village of outcasts in the Dark World. He attempts to mislead Link. The boy who once played his ocarina for animals has been transformed into a creature resembling a fox. Link finds the boy's ocarina and plays it for him. The boy asks him to play the same song for his father and turns into a tree. Finally, he can rest in peace. Stone Monuments. Instructions for how to obtain three pendants. The information is rendered in the ancient Hylian script. To decipher it, we must, look, we must acquire the Book of Medora from Kakarika Village. The ancient script? The Lost Woods. The Master Sword was once stored within a temple, but the temple decayed and turned into a forest. The Pyramid of Power. An enormous structure of the heart, uh, at the heart of the Dark World. Its location parallels that of Hyrule Castle, the Light World. Okay, the Master Sword, Asleep in the Forest. Link's Battle. Link, Link obtained clues regarding the whereabouts of the pendant from the stone monuments scattered about the land, and, thus, and was thus able to acquire the pendant of wisdom and the pendant of power. He then drew the Master Sword from its pedestal in the forest. However, Princess Zelda, who had taken shelter in the sanctuary, was found by the castle guards and brought before Aghanim. The Master Sword asleep in the forest. Possessed by the, a possessed Hylian soldier, the Pyramid of Power. The seal is broken. The seal of the seven sages is broken. Link entered Hyrule Castle only to see Aghanim send Princess Zelda to the Dark World. Right before, the, uh, right before his eyes, the, the seal of the seven sages had been broken. Link took on Aghanim, managing to corner the priest, but was pulled into the Dark World. At last, the seal of the sacred realm had been broken, and a passage of the Dark World was opened in Hyrule. Here's a lovely map. The Light World, the Surface World. A world of life where people of Hyrule dwell. Hyrule Castle stands at its center. It was created by the hands of the gods, its soil abundant with plant life and water. The barrier around Ganon's tower. A force field barrier was erected around Ganon's tower to defend it against intruders. That's it. Here's Princess Zelda again. And, and uh, rescuing the maidens. If the passage of the Dark World were to be widened, the Demon King Ganon would emerge into the Light World once again. The only way to prevent this was to defeat Ganon and take back the Triforce. Link traveled back and forth between the worlds. His first task? Rescuing the maidens that had been sacrificed to the Dark World. 
he saved Princess Zelda last. Yeah, he saved Princess Zelda last. The princess succeeded in breaking the barrier around Ganon's tower using the power of the sages. Link then defeated Aghanim, who attempted to block his path and made his way towards Ganon. A pyramid was now set to serve as the site of the decisive battle. Yeah. The final battle in the pyramid. Ganon, in the form of the giant demonic beast, possessed his pressed his attack. Wielding dark magic and a three-pronged trident, Link, evading the powers of darkness, succeeded in destroying him. The land laid his hands on the Triforce and wished for peace to return to the land. The people who had been sacrificed, including Link's uncle and the king of Hyrule, were also restored to good health. The Triforce once again rested in the hands of the royal family. With Ganon suppressed, the Dark World had been born of his wicked heart gradually faded away. The battle with Ganon. And here's the Dark World, lovely illustrations and map once again. The Dark World, the Underworld. The Sacred Realm, once home to the Trivorce, was plunged into darkness by Ganondorf's wicked heart. It could also be thought of as the Underworld counterpart to the Light World. The Trial of the Triforce. We're still in the era of light and dark, but now we're up to the Oracle of S the Oracle series with Oracle of Seasons. That came first in the Twilight timeline. Twin Rova. These witches raised Ganon back when he was known as Ganondorf the Thief. They worship Ganondorf as the demon king Ganon to plot and plot to resurrect him. Link's Trials. Putting his affairs in order, Link sets off on a journey to further his training. Following his departure from Hyrule, Link encounters new allies, such as Ricky the Kangaroo and Maple the Witch. Ricky the, Link and Ricky, Maple. The Maku Trees. S giant sacred trees that protect the lands of Holodrum and Labrina. The tree in, Hi in Holodrum takes the appearance of an old man who could frequently be dozing off, and the tree in Labrina looks like a young girl. Once Link gathers the essences of nature and the essences of time, the, the trees entrust him with a huge Maku seed capable of destroying the barrier of darkness. Twin Rova's Tricks The twin witches known as Twin Rova were plotting ways to perform the ceremony that would resurrect the demon king. For the resurrection ceremony to occur, it was necessary to light the flame of destruction, the flame of sorrow, and the flame of despair, derived from the chaos sorrow and the hopelessness of humanity. They would also need to offer up a sacred sacrifice. In order to attain the Flame of Destruction and the Flame of Sorrow, Twin Rover sent Anox, the General of Darkness, to the land of Holodrum, and Varen, the Sorceress of Shadows, to the land of Labrina. The Oracle Din. Din, the Oracle of Seasons. Link, the boy who saved the land of Hyrule, was guided by the Triforce in, in Hyrule Castle and transported to the unfamiliar soil of Holodrum. After arriving in the new land, the hero lay sprawled on the ground, unconscious. Just then, a dancer called Din appear, happened to pass by. The traveler, perfor the traveling performer, affectionately nursed Link back to health. When Link awoke, Din invited him to dance. Suddenly, the darkness engulfed her trope of the performers. Whirlwinds raged around them, accompanied by the voice of Onyx, General Darkness. Onyx sought Din, the oracle who safeguarded the Four Seasons. Link issued a bold challenge to the general, but Onyx succeeded in kidnapping the oracle. Link of the Rod of Seasons, the Holodrum Maku Tree. Adventure in the Land of Holodrum. Once Din, the Oracle of Seasons, was sealed away, the four seasons of the Land of Holodrum were thrown into the chaos. Wielding the Rod of Seasons, Link set out in search of the eight essences of nature. With the aid of the Maku Tree, Guardian of Holodrum, Link ousted the power of darkness to set out to, tack to, set out to tackle Onyx's castle, located in the northern regions of the land. Anox, the armored menace who kidnaps the Oracle Din in order to light the flame of destruction. His true form is a giant dragon. Onyx, the general of darkness, and Din's rescue. Link defeated Onyx's true form, the dark dragon, and rescued Din, returning to, to the power of the seasons to the land of Holodrum. Here is the Oracle of Nairu, and we're now going into the Oracle of Ages. Impa. Princess Zelda's nursemaid. She is under secret orders to, to bring Din, the Oracle of Seasons, back to Hyrule. She's a well-built, middle-aged woman with no shortage of, shortage of valor. Yep, is always cool. Link's journey to his second trial. Next, Link alighted to the unfamiliar land of Labrina. He came to the aid of Impa, who was surrounded by demons. Impa 
had other troubles, however, finding herself unable to move a boulder with the crest of the royal family on it. Link removed the rock with ease and pressed on, only to encounter a singing Nairu, surrounded by animals. And here's Link again. And what's down here? The Goron tribe, the Subroisian tribe, and the Zora tribe. The people encountered by Link. The peoples encountered by Link. The peoples, say, the same peoples who have been found in Hyrule also inhabit Holodrum and Labrina, such as Gora, the Goron tribe who dwell in the mountains. The tribe of the Sea Zora dwell in the ocean. See, that's um, con constantly at odds with the River Zora. See, this is the line I was talking about. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, this is the line I was talking about before. Pretty much, this shows that there is different types of Zoras. That's why there, there's the N64 Zoras and these Zora, these blue Zoras are different than the ones you find in uh, the 2D games. Anyway, um, I'll just reread the sentence. The tribe of the Sea Zora dwell in the ocean, constantly at odds with the River Zora, who take on the forms of demons. Ever since the, the, their kings have come to sudden illness in the distant past, ages have elapsed without a tribe appointing another ruler. Finally, a tribe of people known as Subroisians exists in a parallel universe called Subroisia. And there they are, Subroisian tribe. Three oracles. There are three oracles, each sharing a name of the gods who created Hyrule. Din serves as Holodrum's Oracle of Seasons, Nairu serves as Labrina's Oracle of Ages, and Faror, Oracle of Secrets, makes her home in a hole in the Maku Tree. Taking into account the fact that Link was guided to these worlds by the Triforce, one could not be faulted for thinking that the gods of creation might have some connection to these events. The Oracle Faror. The Harp of Ages. An instrument with power to manipulate time, Link uses it to play the tune of Echoes, the tune of Currents, and the tune of Ages. The crests that represent the three songs, these songs cor correspond to the crests of the gods that created Hyrule. Yeah. Nairu, the Oracle of Ages. There's a sorceress Varen, and there's the Oracle Nairu, possessed by Varen. A sudden darkness fell upon them, and Varen, the sorceress of shadows, appeared from within Impa, taking control of Nairu's body. In truth, Nairu was the Oracle of Ages, who governed the passage of time in the land of Labrina. The Oracle now, possessed by Varen, vanished. The an Adventure in Labrina With the Oracle of Ages lost, the flow of time in the land of Labrina fell into chaos. A strange events began to occur all over the realm. Varen, using the power of Nairu to manipulate time, traveled back to Labrina's past and forced the reigning queen, Ambi, to construct a giant tower. As requested by the Guardian of Labrina, the Maku Tree Link shrouded the Harp of Ages and set out in search of the eight missing ancestors of time. There's the Labrina Maku Tree, and there is Link and the Harp of Ages. The Citizens of Holodrum and Labrina The events in Holodrum and Labrina did not occur independently of one another. The citizens of these lands are sacrificed in order to light the flame of destruction and the flame of despair, needed for the ceremony to resurrect the Demon King. There's Ralph and Queen Ambi, a queen re who reigned during Labrina's past. Ralph, an old friend of, Ni of Nairu's, is descended from his ruler. Crushing Varen, the Sorcerer's of Shadows and Nairu's rescue and Nairu's next rescue. With the help of the Maku Tree, Link was able to enter the Black Tower and successfully drive out Varen, who had been who had been possessing the body of Queen Ambi. He defeated Varen's true form and rescued Nairu, returning to the flow of time in Labrina to its regular state. The ceremony there's Princess Zelda, and the ceremony of resurrection is nearly complete. Twin Rova, who had lurked behind the scenes in the Holodrum and Labrina, pulling the strings, managed to light the flame of destruction and the flame of sorrow. All remained was all, all that remained, I'm sorry, all that remained was to kidnap Princess Zelda and light the, the flame of despair using the princess as a sacred flame, as a sacred sacrifice, they attended to resurrect Ganon. The Ceremony of Resurrection and the Demon King's Revival Link borrowed the, the power of the Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle of Ages and threw himself upon the ceremonial altar. He, cur he cornered and defeated Twin Rova, but the Twin Witches sacrificed themselves to resurrect Ganon. Because the ceremony had not been completed, however, Ganon would return as a witless, demonic beast. Link brought down his rampage, the rampaging demon king and rescued Princess Zelda, restoring peace to the lands of Holodrum and Labrina. Bidding a fond farewell to all those people he met during his travels, Link boarded a ship and set sail for the next land in which he would train.
And that brings us to, we're still in the era light and dark, and it brings us to Link's Awakening. Um, I'll just say this right now, since we have some time. Um, once, I'm going to stop here after, if I do end up reading this whole thing on Link's Awakening, I'm going to stop afterwards, no matter what time it is, because in the next video, that's in the timeline where Link Between Worlds is after Link's Awakening. So, I want to just uh, talk about that a little bit, so... Uh, in the beginning of the video, just get that done. So, yeah. So, well, we're gonna begin with adventure within a fleeting dream. Marin and Taran, Mario and, uh, not, and, you know, the other girl, look, he has that M in his hat. There's no subtlety there. Residents of Mabe Village on Coalent Island, uh, similar characters also appear in Holodrum and in Hyrule during the era of the Hero of Time. Mar Taran and Marin may protect the may be the product of Link's memories of Malin and her father Talon of Lon Lon Ranch. A raging storm besets Link. Link it was in the midst of journeying back to Hyrule by boat after finishing his training. During the voyage, he was caught up in a storm that sank his ship. Upon re regaining consciousness, Link found that he was washed ashore on the land called Koholint, a mysterious island. Link was rescued by a girl named Marin, who lived on the island. She woke up in a house belonging to Taran, where the two made their home. Though Link attempted to leave the island, citizens insisted that there was nothing beyond the ocean. Coalint Island An island with an abundant natural area, surrounded by the ocean, the large egg sitting atop the island's tallest mountain of Kola is Coalint's most notable characteristic. The Owl an owl that frequently appears before Link, guiding him on his journey. It is actually a manifestation of the Windfish's consciousness. The Instruments of the Sirens There were eight instruments in all. The Full Moon Shallow, the Conch Horn, the Sea, sea Lily's Bell, the Surf Heart, the Wind Maramba, the Coral Triangle, and the Organ of Evening Calm, and the Thunder Drum. They each located in a different part of the island and guarded by a demon. There, caught you. The Windfish Haunted by nightmares, the spirit continues to, to sleep. His outward appearance resembles a whale. Attempting to escape from the island, the mysterious owl that appeared before Link informed him that the, way, the only way to escape the island was to awaken the windfish. As he collected the instruments of the sirens, Link uncovered a shocking truth. The world in which he had found himself existed within the windfish's dream. A waking windfish would cause the island to disappear in a steep stream of bubbles. Link had, had attacked... The demons had attacked Link in order to preserve themselves and the existence of their island home. Which is, which is something that's really cool about Link's adventure. Link solves the island's mysteries. The Owl. Coalint Island vanishes. Link successfully gathers the entrance of the sirens, standing before the egg in which the windfish slept. The hero was forced to make a better decision. The only traces of Coalint Island's existence now remain in Link's memories, and the awakened windfish flew off into the sky. Though Link... The hero had once rescued Hyrule, it came to pass that he was also responsible for the annihilation of the dream world. He set sail on another voyage, and his further whereabouts are unknown. And that leads us to the Golden Era, in which where we will continue ne next time. But before that, I will be talking about A Link Between Worlds. So that will be the beginning of our video there. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Billy, your video game analyzer. Have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this.